Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the first episode of Kemuri Kusa. Now, this anime, the reason why I decided to watch it is because it is by the studio Yao Yorozu that did the legendary Kimono Friends. And this one actually does have Tatsuki working for it, so there should be Tanoshi to be had, to say the least. Now, what is this story actually about? The synopsis didn't really tell us a lot, pretty much just that there's a girl fighting bugs in the red fog, something like that, you know? Not a lot to really go off of, but I I think this should be worth watching. You know, that would be the reason why I'm here, of course. So, yeah, I don't think there's really any, anything else to really say before I get into it, so let's do that. Although I do need to tell you how I do things, because this is the start of a new reaction series. I do not show the full anime footage and audio in the video itself for copyright reasons. You'll want to grab your own copy of the show and stick it up to my video for the ideal viewing experience. I do show you enough footage to see the subs and a timer up there to make that easier, or to just follow along in general. So, yeah, let's get into it. 3, 2, 1, play. Now that our advice, we're already on the same page. Uh, bugs? Bugs? Boom. Just pack a punch. I'm not sure how convinced I am of these subtitles, but... <laughs> okay, I take it that's a good thing. Just don't slip and fall there. <laughs> well, I guess you at least deserve a head pat. <laughs> uh, need to get your head pats. So I guess all three of the main girls are sisters, it seems like. Can always hope, right? And just shove her in the water. Of course not. I'm sure she feels better. Seriously, the subs are just <laughs> adding a lot more that's than actually what's being said. It's bugging me a bit. Let's do that. But yeah, the animation does remind me a lot of Kimono Friends. Okay, I guess we're gonna get an actual full-on fight scene. <laughs> wow. That confirms that she's very athletic. And has glowing eyes, I think. Uh, there's something back there. <laughs> I see ears, I think. Oh. So it's not a bad guy. How many people is everyone? Because I saw like three characters on the My Animalist page for this. Which you are two of, I assume. I guess that's with the red bug. Ooh. Oh. That is a hit. Let's just punch it some more. Or we could be defensive. So they clearly have superpowers.
Yeah, this is episode one. We're not gonna run into too many problems yet. <laughs> I bet. Well, maybe you should wait on that. Because I think just a tip, I mean, just a sip could still be bad. I mean, I don't know what the problem is with the water in this world anyway. But you really should boil it before you drink it. <laughs> yeah, coughing. See, that's why you don't do that. It's kind of weird to see a pair of ears coughing, but whatever. What? Two? Well, that's probably something. Uh... I... It doesn't look good. Uh, 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 that, that <clears throat> that's not true. Now everything is not all well because you do not look good. <sighs> well, six minutes in and a character dies. I didn't have enough time to really get attached to that character, so it's not the biggest deal ever. But still sad. That's probably true. Oof. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh. I don't know what to make of any of this. Uh. I see it. I don't know which of you is which. They're all the same to me. But I get the idea they live in some sort of post-apocalyptic world. Where resources are scarce. And red bug monsters attack. And they have some sort of powers to fight them. Always stay on guard. You don't want to experience what uh, Rinako, whatever that one was, what happened to her? 
There's a lot of similar sounding names that's starting to throw me off. <laughs> uh, what did you just eat? I didn't look edible. Uh. Hmm. You can only look in one direction at a time. Yeah, this is very weird so far. I'm still not quite sure what to make of this. You keep throwing a lot of names at me and back in stuff that I haven't seen yet being referenced. Gotta break it. I mean, I get that thing as Midori, but... I guess it grows food for them? Or just energy source? I don't know. So I get this... I guess the stuff they get from Midori is what allows them to fight, gives them the superpowers. I guess it's the implication. And then they need the water for the tree. Okay. I mean, I get how that connects, but... What? How long have you been in there? Who are you? Ugh. <sighs> I was not expecting him. <laughs> I don't think it's a bug. <laughs> uh, you came to the wrong neighborhood, my friend. Ooh. Well, this spine's broken. Good question, actually. Is that glowing? Oh, okay, now it's glowing. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Where did she stick that into to make it disappear? Oh, there it is. <laughs> They're really trying to kill this man. Not that I disapprove, but... I don't think he's actually a bug, though. <laughs> Where did you even come from? What, are you an isekai protagonist? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Might want to watch out for the sparkles. <laughs> Don't touch my vine. <laughs> like ninjas. Nice posture there. He doesn't look like a red bug to me. But I guess you guys would know better, so yeah, just go kill him. <laughs> I said something or other, I don't know. It could be speech. It could just be whining, who knows. Knew she. <laughs> uh, it's a very intelligent bug. Prove it. Uh, 
I do like how the red girls are accusing a non-red person of being a red bug while they are the humans. Is that a real question? I mean, no matter where you're from, you should know what bugs are. Island 1. You came out of the water, so... Wakaba? Are you a girl, Wakaba? Yeah, the only two names I actually remember. <laughs> uh, can we eat him? Midori, yeah. <laughs> Need a nap? I guess it's probably been a long day. Yeah, that works, you know. If he dies, then... He probably wasn't a bug. Ah, okay. Well, you're clearly a dirty red bug, so... <laughs> you really shouldn't soil the drinking water. <laughs> uh, it's a weird bug, so we must be extra careful when we kill it. A leaf. Title drop. Not gonna be able to uh suck up to us to live. Come on, do it, slaughter this spread bug. <laughs> okay, wasn't expecting quite that level of an explosion. Oh no, the red bug survived somehow. Let's try again. Guess I have to kill it the old-fashioned way. Somebody grab a knife. Really? <laughs> uh, no, just give us a few more minutes. What? We haven't finished dealing with this red bug. Hopefully it's just one. Yeah, it probably bites. <laughs> uh, can we just put a, like, a muzzle or something on him? <laughs> well, you're coming with us. You can talk, talk the other red bug out of killing us. <laughs> yeah. I see red. He's probably over there. <laughs> Oof. The guy was probably not ready for today. <laughs> Always be careful. We don't want any more casualties. 
Well, no kidding. Yeah, I thought this red bug was supposed to be intelligent. Doesn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, just stick your finger in it. What could go wrong with that? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> Don't be silly, of course he is. What else could he possibly be? You have a strange smell. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> Did we block it with a telephone pole? That's... I would like to see that. Man, these things do sound like, look like they are a pain to kill. I don't know which one's Rena, yo. Probably underneath you. Yeah, we don't want to lose anyone else. Yeah. What are you going to do exactly? I'm genuinely curious what you could possibly do to help. I guess it could be a lookout. Yeah, why don't we trust a red bug to help us fight a red bug? Well, if I was in a position, I would try to help so I wouldn't die, so, you know, makes sense from my perspective. You get on their good side, they don't kill me. Oof. Well, that's... <laughs> that's gotta suck. Man, it would be really hard to find that red girl in the red fog. Eh, I'll be fine. <laughs> Nobody said you could princess carry her. <laughs> Kamehameha! Man, that whining is... like, pierces through you. <laughs> Watch out, you'll... get her head hit. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, we don't need any more sisters dying this episode. Yeah, I thought you were stupid. Well, he still did the original plan of killing him. <laughs> well, as if the girl wasn't red enough as it was. But I say we give him enough food for a few days, then send him off somewhere random and let him fend for himself. That's what I would do. Okay. Well, that was the first episode of Kemuri Kusa. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's still hard to say exactly my overall opinion on, opinion on the show is. I do have mixed feelings here and there. 
Now, the art style and animation, you know, stuff like that does remind me of Kimono Friends a lot, which is a plus because I love Kimono Friends. And, you know, I do like the overall aesthetic with all the, you know, the girls being redheads and sisters and all that, and the weird, like, matching theme with their names, even though that does make it hard to remember names, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get it eventually. There's Rin, the main girl, and, uh, and the, all the others, but let's see. I mean, as far as the world goes, like I said, it definitely seems like a post-apocalyptic world where they have to fight these things to survive. And I guess this Midori tree thing is what allows them to have their powers to enable them to do so. And they have to find clear water for, you know, for Midori. And that's what allows it to bear its fruit and give it to them. Like, it's something like that, I guess, but they imply that they had had to fight them before that. But then I don't think they really gave me details on how that worked. And they mentioned Riku a couple of times, which I guess was someone that was around before, but not now. I don't know. Just like I said, a lot of names are being thrown at me. But yeah, it seemed like one of the sisters died pretty early on in the episode, but there's a bunch of others that look quite similar and sound and act quite similar to her. So I, I don't know. It's all pretty weird. But uh, yeah, it might be the kind of episode you might have to watch a second time just to make sure you didn't miss any little lore details here and there. But uh yeah, it definitely seems like an interesting world, to be sure. You know, that little weird ear communication thing was interesting. And the one thing that disappoints me greatly with it is I really was, I really did not want some just confused male self-insert character to just pop out of nowhere. I was, did not care for that. Definitely my least favorite part of the episode. I was just hoping it would be a bunch of red-haired sisters fighting together in this world, but now it's clearly trying to push that in here, push in some romance subplot or something, that's just, yeah. I did not want that out of this show. I really didn't, so that was the biggest disappointments, easily, for me. Let's see. But yeah, I don't really have a lot of more thoughts on it beyond that. I didn't hate the first episode or anything like that. But, uh... I'd say it was a little bit disappointing, though. It'd probably be my overall opinion on this episode. But I definitely plan to at least continue it for a little bit to see where things go. Because we still don't really know exactly what this character is going to be doing in the future. So I don't want to jump to too many conclusions on that. But I do like the main, you know, I do like most of the sisters. They seem to be fun and... Interesting personalities, and they obviously care about each other a lot. You know, I definitely like all that stuff. Let's see. Yeah, I don't really think I have much more to say on it beyond that, you know? So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoky for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.